All the things that happen in this movie are just that you couldn't do them any better. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on Scream 6. And Scream 6 absolutely blew me away. Now, I've reviewed lots of movies on this channel before. And on paper, I would have almost guaranteed that it would have sucked. And if I didn't like Scream, if I didn't have like an easy way to watch this movie, probably would have like skipped it. Actually, at the time I had unlimited movie pass so I could go to it. as many movies as I wanted, which was pretty cool. So. Scream, Scream 6, now, if there's, there's a lot of reasons why this movie's good. Number one, if you like mystery movies, this is a fantastic mystery movie. If you can get over the violence of the kills and the kind of like teenage lingo and things like that, it's a great whodunit. Like I challenge anybody to go and try to watch this movie and guess who the killer or killers are. And if you haven't seen Scream before, almost every movie has two killers. So, you know, you don't know if it's one, you don't know if it's two, you don't know if it's more, you have no idea. So. Scream 6, I mean, so for the for the mystery aspect, top notch, no matter who you are, doesn't matter even if you like scary movies or not, the mystery aspect's great. Number two is that I really just could not stand the cast of this movie at all. I really hated Scream 5 on pretty much all levels. Like I just couldn't stand it. Everything about it just irked me as wrong. It just was not for me. And then on top of that, this is the first movie that doesn't feature Sydney, which is the main character here. And I didn't really feel like she was needed as much in Scream 5. They kind of bring her back halfway through. In this movie, I'm kind of realizing that it might have been a great call that Sydney doesn't come back and doesn't come back for future movies because she just was absolutely unneeded. And it's, it's funny that this movie might even be in my top two or three favorite Screams of all time. And it's weird because it's like not like the other Screams, but it's just such a freaking good movie. I have no other way to put it. On top of that, every single time I've watched the death scene in this movie, it just has so much emotion in it. I have no idea why, I can't put my finger on it, but every time I've watched this movie, like every single death that's supposed to mean something, you just feel it in this movie. And, and like, I just don't think that was the same way as the other Scream movies. Now they did get a little bit violent, but before I would say that the most violent thing that was in Scream was probably the first kill of Drew Barrymore in the first movie. Like that was probably the most violent. After that, I mean, it just, you know, it was okay. It wasn't like supposed to be fake or slapsticky, but it just wasn't as intense as this movie. And on top of that, like the, the motion behind, behind each death scene, like I can't get into every single one, but there's just so much emotion behind every death scene. I just think it's absolutely great. If you're a fan of like violence and more realism, this one is probably again, the most violent, the most realistic. So I appreciated it for that. Wes Craven also wasn't in this movie. You know, he made all these other old movies. I think this is the first one without him. If not, this is the second one. I was kind of up in the air about that was ended up being great. Dewey died in the last movie, which was just like sucked because like, I actually like Dewey the most in the last movie. I'm like, oh, I finally like this character. And then you kill him for no reason. And so now it's like, I don't know if he wanted to die, if that's was just a good idea for things. If you can make Gail Weathers be more single now, like they do in this movie, I have no idea. So if one of my favorite parts is like how they tie in all the Scream movies into this movie and how they utilize the main character as being like related to one of the killers, but not being a bad person in this movie. So the, one of the main characters is related to Billy Loomis from the first movie, she's his daughter. She has a little bit of this like natural aggressive violence in her and she kind of doesn't know where it comes from. And so like, they have this nice blend of she's a good person, you know, she's just gonna do good no matter what happens to her versus like, you know, there's something there, like don't push her cause like things, but you might just unlock this kind of killer within her. So I really like that, especially the final violent thing that involves her absolutely amazing like i don't think they could possibly do a movie better than this i just don't think they can i don't think there's any possible way that anybody could because they tie in all the screams there's no way to really do that again all the things that happen in this movie are just that you couldn't do them any better but for the cons really not many like i would say like after you get past the first kill you kind of deal with a little high school stuff for about 20 minutes personally i thought that stuff was kind of boring um it wasn't the most boring thing ever but it's just like I could have done without it. Another thing that I didn't like was the way that everybody survives, like, or almost everybody survives. Like there's so many times where people get stabbed, like, I don't know, like 20 times and they're just dead and left for dead. And then it's like, they just end up surviving. Like almost every single good character that goes down ends up being like, oh, there he is in the gurney. Oh, there he is in the hospital. And like, when you see how badly they're attacked with no, no excuse or no reason for anything, it just was a little bit like hard to believe. But besides that guys, this is honestly one of my favorite Scream movies of all time. If not, if not my favorite Scream movie, because it's just really that good. I've, I've watched it at least two times. I've skipped through the kills again and again. And there's just nothing bad about this movie. And they're just fantastic. If you've never seen them and you like mystery movies, each one is its own mystery. 
There's never the same killer. They're always really, really well hidden. You know, it's a blast to find out if you're a mystery lover. And honestly, I only could guess part of the mystery because I was coming in here expecting it to be freaking crazy and it was, so. Scream 6, absolutely love it. Top tier, one of my favorites ever. Great mystery movie on top of that. Great violent, like scary movie. Just hits the nail on the head 100%. And Scream 5 was one of the worst ones I've ever seen in my whole life. They pretty much bring the same people back for this one, and it's the best. I don't know why, but let me know what you think of Scream 6. Let me know what movies you've been watching recently. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you have a great day at home. See you all in the next video.